welcome to the City Line Book Club. We're here today with Jessica Grant, who's the author of Come Thou Tortoise, our latest book club pick. And because Jessica lives all the way in Newfoundland, she's uh, gratefully agreed to chat with us today via Skype. So we'll ask her a few of the questions that our book club has for her. Uh, hi, Jessica. Thanks so much for chatting with us. Hi, it's great to be here. Thanks so much. So we have to ask you, first of all, um, a bit about just how the book came to be and where your inspiration comes from. I mean, I think we're all interested to know why you wanted to feature a tortoise in your book. Yeah, it's funny because when I first started writing the book, there wasn't a tortoise. She came a bit later. And actually, the inspiration was uh, an interview I heard on the radio with a man who, who works in Cambridge, Cambridge University. And he is the administrator of a prize called the Methuselah Mouse Prize. And it's for scientists. And um, basically the contest is just to see who can make their lab mouse live the longest. And so that was really the inspiration. There's also a mouse in the novel. He does not a, he's not a narrator <laughs> like the tortoise. Um, but the novel started with him. And then eventually I had a tortoise living with the protagonist, Audrey, in Portland. And at some point, I just, I don't know why, decided to take her for a test drive as a narrator and fell in love with her. So that, you know, the novel took on and went off in a different direction then. But the mouse was the inspiration, not the tortoise. That's interesting. I mean, I think we would have all thought it started with the tortoise, but... Well, she became so important. She did, for sure. And I think we all fell in love with Winifred, for sure. Um, and I think uh, uh, we were all obviously very captivated by Audrey, um, one of our members of our book club and one of our guest experts, Marilyn Smith, she was really taken by Audrey and fell in love with sort of her outlook on life. And we were wondering if where Audrey came from and if was there anybody in your life that you took inspiration from? Do you know anyone like Audrey? Uh, well, if, if the person I'm talking to likes Audrey, I say that I'm a lot like her. <laughs> <laughs> she came from me. Um, but in fact, she's an, she's an invention. Um, I think what made her so much fun to, to write as a character is that she is in some ways a child and in some ways an adult. And she was born on February 29th, which makes her a leapling. So she is in her mid-twenties in the novel, but she's only had six birthdays. So she's kind of a paradox. She's an adult in some ways and a child in others. And that makes her very fun to write because I can make her do anything. I felt I could throw plausibility out the window because she could be audacious like a child, but also wise in some strange ways like, like an adult. So that's sort of, I guess she, she evolved as I wrote her, her character, but that idea of a leapling is central, I think, to her, to her outlook and to her character. For sure, I think that's a very, a very unique characteristic that you gave her that definitely helped you play with Audrey a lot more, which we got to see and I think we all really enjoyed, for sure. Uh, another question we wanted to ask you is actually from our host, Tracy Moore. She was wondering, uh, she had a style question for you. She wondered why you opted not to have any quotation marks or question marks in the novel. Right. Um, well, the, the quotation marks I stopped using a while ago, even in my short fiction, um, I found that my dialogue was more, I guess I played a little bit with the, the difference between spoken language and language that is just thought by the characters. And I like that ambiguity, that sometimes we're not sure if a line is spoken or thought, and it puts an interesting constraint on me as the writer, trying to convey um, what is spoken and what is thought without the quotation marks. Um, the question marks, the absence of question marks is a little bit odd, I realize. Um, I think question marks uh, signal not just when a sentence is a question, but they also signal the tone of voice or the register of the voice. For me, when I see a question with a question mark, the pitch of the voice goes up at the end. And I felt like with characters like Audrey and Winifred, who are sort of deadpan, that for some reason, their funny lines became funnier when there were no question marks. And the sad lines became sadder, <laughs> in a way, when there were no question marks. And 
um, once I stopped using them, I really liked not having them in the book. So, yeah. And I guess you could also, this wasn't intentional, but you could also say that one of the conspicuous features of the novel and of Audrey's character is her failure to ask, ask certain questions. <laughs> so, but it fits in well, for sure. I think, I think that I, I personally didn't even really take much notice of the missing question marks, but I think it does hold an interesting significance for the novel, for sure. Yeah, but that wasn't intentional. I'm just you know, imposing that in retrospect, but yeah. So I think the last thing we're all wondering, of course, is what you're working on now. If you're writing anything else, we might be able to read soon. Well, yes, I am. I'm working on a novel. Um, I've been sort of a tortoise <laughs> in getting it finished. It's a bit taken me a while, but I'm close now, very close to finishing. Um, I can't talk too much about it because I'll regret it if I do. <laughs> but yeah, it is, it's coming to, it's coming to a close finally. So. Great. Well, we're very much looking forward oh, to it. Thanks. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for chatting with us, Jessica. Okay, my pleasure. And thank you for, thank you for reading my book. <laughs> And thank you all for watching. We'll be back again next week with more great exclusive behind the scenes content with Jessica. And stay tuned for our book club meeting to discuss Come Thou Tortoise as well. Thank you so much. <laughs>